I've known Stewart a long time. He's worked in state government for years. He's worked with the legislature. He served the state tax commissioner. He's been director of the budget. During my term as governor, he was in my cabinet as secretary of finance. And I think no one fits the bill better for this award than Stuart Connick. I understand that the purpose of the award is to salute someone who has achieved extraordinary results on behalf of a higher educational institution in terms of government relations. Um, Stuart fits that bill. Um, he's been around a long time. He understands the system. He has a passion for higher education and finance. And he has been extraordinarily effective in achieving results for the University of Virginia. In Stuart's time, maybe I would go back to codified autonomy for the medical center. Clearly that was groundbreaking in itself, even though it only applied to two teaching hospitals in the state, but it, it clearly set the foundation for the restructuring legislation that has occurred recently. I think that we would not have been in the kind of position we were in in 2005 and 2006 with that legislation, you know, had we not had the previous experience with the medical centers. Uh, status and the success that that, um, that that had. And Stewart made the commitment to represent the university and then to represent the interests of higher education beginning in the early 90s. He made that commitment for good and he has stayed with it. He's, he's brought his credibility. He's brought his uh, capacity to get the numbers and whatnot right and a wonderful kind of collegiality. Uh, he has always a kind of partner in whatever he does. He inevitably gives the credit to the other person when something goes right. And his directions as to what one should do, uh, he frequently will tell me what to do when I go to Richmond. His directions are inevitably right. He knows what has to be said. He knows where to make a concession. Uh, he's excellent on the points where you can't make a concession and be a, a good citizen. So. In my view, he's been the, uh, the complete and the model of what it is to be an involved citizen with a special role with the General Assembly, with the governors, with, with others in government, but also with principles that, that make this a better university and make Virginia a better state. He's very quiet, he's self-effacing, but he achieves results because he learned a long time ago uh, that one does not have to shout in order to be heard. Um, he, um, he goes into a meeting armed with information, uh, skilled in presenting it, and very persuasive in securing results for the university. Stewart is the consummate Virginian, I think, uh, and certainly um, the person that knows more about Virginia's finances than anyone I know. Um, a little bit of a legend among those of us who do public finance in the Commonwealth. He has taught a generation of leaders in this state how to exercise leadership in both good and bad times. And in the process, little bits of Stuart have rubbed off on all of us. I think people would find Stuart Connick a delightful dinner table companion, a good scholar, someone knowledgeable about government, the kind of person you'd like to spend an evening with. In my case, I've been fortunate to spend a career with him. There's no other person that I know of who uh, is more deserving of such an honor uh, than Stuart is. Um, he clearly has spent his life uh, serving the public good uh, and serving the Commonwealth of Virginia. If I understand Stuart's motives uh, are right, and I think I do, I've been watching Stuart for a long time, Maybe the greatest pleasure he will take is simply in knowing that somebody knows that his was a job well done.